In most accounting systems, we look at financial impacts of things. In this case, we're looking at environmental impacts of things. So we're taking a look at an object or a process and looking at the environmental impacts throughout the life cycle of that object. So all the way from where any raw materials are pulled from nature or developed, all the way through how the product or project is disposed of at the end of its life cycle. And we're trying to come up with an, an accounting or an understanding of what the environmental impacts are. Well, as an accountant, I care about how effective these systems are. And what I wanted to understand was what can we learn from life cycle assessments. If the measurement problems are so huge, then it's going to be a problem actually taking the results from a, an LCA and being able to use the results to make decisions. They're highly dependent on the scope of what you look at and the assumptions that you make. So for example, a very popular form of life cycle or application of life cycle assessments is looking at paper bags versus plastic bags at the supermarket. And what you have to think about is where, what is the scope of what you look at for the life cycle assessment. So think about a paper bag. How far back in its life cycle do you go? Well, paper bags are basically made from wood and the wood comes from forests. Well, those forests, those trees have to be grown. And so do you go all the way back and look at whether the trees are grown in a managed forest or in a natural forest and all the chemicals that are applied in a managed forest? Is, is that included or not? Um, for plastic bags, it's fundamentally a petroleum product. So how far back do you go through to the oil extraction and all of the environmental impacts of the oil extraction? At some point, you have to draw a line and say, I'm, this is the scope of what I'm looking at. And the scope that you choose can have a huge impact on the resulting um, life cycle assessments. If I'm doing a, a, an LCA sponsored by a company and that company is giving me the data, I may not have any intention to bias the results. But because of the nature of the data that I'm getting, um, the kinds of data that, that this company tells me are available, it may be that I end up with um, some biased results that I didn't think would be biased. So although LCAs have problems, you can still get a lot of benefit out of them. They're like any accounting system. They can't measure impacts or costs perfectly. What you need to do is just be sure that you don't take the results at face value. You need to look at how the analysis was done. You need to in particular look at the scope, so what aspects of the product were examined in the LCA. And you need to look at the assumptions that were made and make sure that you think that they're reasonable. And we would all like to do better for the environment. And this is, was one tool that has been used and, and uh, supported as helping us make better decisions for the environment. The problem is it's not a perfect tool. And we need to understand its weaknesses.